Hello and welcome, I'm Marco. Let's play some more Europa Universalis 4. We are playing against the Ottomans with the new expansion, The Art of War. General has a huge aggressive expansion now because we next Byzantium. Let's, um, let's actually not do that. Not yet. Need to party stuff. Could actually uh, sell it to Athens, but I don't want that. Probably uh, some of you want to know my opinion about how to handle with the local autonomy, the provinces that we just conquered. Well, um, given the the size of rebellions in this patch, it's not worth it to keep the unrest so high, because if you leave it unchecked, it's just a matter of time till they rebel, and they will rebel uh, quite fast. Uh, if you have too many provinces with unrest. So let's just increase the local autonomy, shall we? Okay. Same thing here, same thing over there. Let's go. Emission. But none of that. Uh, Will happen soon or interests me. Okay, we have cores on all of these territories. Let's declare war. Since um, I uh, messed up in the last episode so, because I was not recording, I probably did not explain these. Um, well, I did explain it, but I was not recording. So. Uh, this is a new feature with the uh, 1.8. We can decide to make them um, the, the allies of our enemies co belligerent or not. But the most important thing here is that uh, War Leader um, almost never changes now, unless, of course, we are attacking a vassal. If we attack a vassal, the Overlord will become the War Leader. And there are a few exceptions too, maybe if I'm not mistaken, with the Leech's League Wars. I think that's pretty much it. Like I was saying, the war leader now almost never changes. Um, we can make them co-belligerent, the allies of our enemies, in order to take provinces from them at a regular war score cost, but then they could call their allies. So sometimes that might not be a good idea. If we choose not to make them co-belligerent, um, their provinces will cost double war score, which is not a big deal. Um, at least not most of the times. So let's go grab our cores. We are by bypassing a truce that we had with these guys. We had that truce until um, 1449, so we'll by bypass the troops uh, this way. Let's go. Okay, great. Okay, let's do this um, cautiously because we have time. And let's improve relations with Genoa. Let's go grab, of course. You don't want to go there. Still want to go there? Yeah, I figures. Let's 
Take it easy. There you go. Right going. This is a... Uh, well, this is another thing that changed. Um, we have a simplified, simple terrain map mode. Um, actually, this is uh, much better than the other one, so let's just change it. So we now can see um, if the terrain is plains, woods, or uh, mountains, or whatever, by uh, at a glance, and um, there's no more random chance or not random chance. There's no chance of uh, uh, having a um, different terrain if when we attack. Also, uh, if you have high maneuver, um, a higher maneuver than the opponent, in this case, we won't have a river crossing. So, yeah. So we have mountains here. Let's wait a bit for reinforcements. Let's go, try to grab them, kill them if possible. There we go. Yep, done off cav. Uh, lower maneuver. As you can see here, we have 110% uh, discipline and uh, for the, in this patch, I don't know if this is the UI lying or not, but according to the UI, this uh, discipline increases the tactics, which is interesting. We are having a penalty in the tactics because we have more cav than infantry. But there we go. That's the end of that. Okay, this guy said this. Before I keep forgetting to set up the rivals, but it doesn't matter much in the beginning. Yeah, we are at war with these guys too. And I don't want the border with the Mamluks. Regardless, they will um, eventually take them, so let's go take care of them. How's the force limit? The 6. We only have that amount of cash. Actually, let's hire some mercs. Infantry dies really quickly. Okay, I need more um, galleys too. We are going to war with Venice soon. I hope. So, need lots of galleys. Okay, marks here. Could be volcaning, but I'm not in a hurry. My opening move will only be over when uh, this is scored, so still take a while. It's gonna take forever to convert. Great, we have a missionary strength guy. So well, that's interesting.
Okay, these guys don't join the coalition anytime soon. If I attack them now, the Austria will attack them, so... Actually... Uh, let's... Let them attack. Hopefully they won't stop because of these. Come on, don't die. Okay, go. Just go. Yeah, they died. Only marks, so not a big deal. Think you're going? Right. Here, let's build some more boats, some more galleys. There and hopefully we'll catch them. Yep. Speed this up. Okay, let's um get some more planes. Join me. Attack them peacefully, but um, yeah, let's do it. Over here. Won't happen. Care, only got munitions. Will take forever to achieve. Any point suffering attrition, so go over here. We have already have uh, the it's still very low, only five percent, only uh, five percent progress. Not a big deal. These buggers. Saskaxis and kill these guys. There you go, problem solved. Guys, go over there. We're still swimming in money. Some blockades here, so 
Let's do this instead. This should be enough. Since I don't want to take any chances, let's go. Let's take that to almost the maximum. Whatever. So, 30, 34 galleys. Am I still building them? Okay, that should be enough. Not paying much to be a, above the force limit, so that's cool. Do you want? Let's hire some more. These guys. I'm not. I don't want to be the. Maybe I should be the defender of the faith, but I don't have the money. That's still bearable. Over there. Okay, that's more than enough. Let's place a guarantee on these guys, or else the mammoths will probably attack them. They are willing to become our vassals peacefully, so. Need more cogs. Another uh, good change, in my opinion, was that the, um, you can now assign leaders without an assigning them first. If they are, I guess the exception is if they are inside the enemy territory. For, ex for instance, this guy had the leader, and I wanted to give a leader to the um, this stack. I just had to do this. So this guy has siege. Let's put him there. They're still uh, okay because Kosovo is still coring, so not a big deal. Have lots of time. Okay, um, so we get to claim here. Everyone in Europe. Okay, great. I could uh, declare war on these guys, but um, I don't want the Mammoths joining a coalition, and they probably will. There we go, cards. Let's set this as an uh, objective. One of the best leaders 
one of the best rulers at uh, game start and he is only 16 years of age Another rule um, changed uh, before 1.8. Uh, we get instantly get 100% war score after sieging the war leader. As you can see, the war leader is sieged, and we still have 97% because we haven't sieged all their allies. After five years, um, that will change, and instantly we instantly get 100% war score by uh, if we uh, fully occupied the war leader. Okay, great, because I needed the diplomats. So, uh, these guys will, these will cost me um, much more war score. This is worth... Now we can see the, the cost of the provinces in war score, which is great. So, uh, this province, Konya, uh, costs 19% war score, but uh, in this peace deal, because they are not co belligerent, it will cost 38%. There you go, 39, rounded up. Give me all your money. Passive expansion, 8. Okay, I'm not gonna take that. Not now. Because I don't want the Mavlux in a collision. Full annexation. Let's go. Take that uh, later. But I'm gonna take a break. Thank you for watching and take care.